Right now, 22 Indiana Robotics teams are on their way to the world stage after competing in the state championships. Our Anna Chalker takes us to the competition. If you come here to the Robotics State Championship, you may think robots like these are the star of the show, but really it's the kids who have spent months of preparation to get here to this moment. As these robots shoot and score, their student teams are in full control. You have to have really good communication and work together because if you don't have that, then you probably won't score anything. Indiana is home to the largest robotics competition in the country, but out of the 300 teams, only 22 will move on to Worlds. All, all of the teams here, even though we're competing against each other, we don't really have any sort of feud. We're, we're all working together and like trying to create a community. A community that is breaking barriers. We don't really typically see all girls teams and it's beginning harder and harder to get girls into STEM. Teams on this stage are not only competing, but showing the crowd anyone can do this. The more that we're able to bring in and get girls to join and be an engineer or a scientist, that would be an amazing. We're, we're making an impact just with us being a team. I'm very proud of our team. And organizers say the teams have more than technical skills. They're solving problems for fun. I mean, these are the future of next year's generation of the workforce. A future student are not only building for themselves, but every upcoming player. In Indianapolis, Anna Chalker, 13 News. So the winners won't be officially announced until next week. The world competition starts on April 25th and it runs through May 3rd. Very